like so creepy now that the time changed. Hello everyone. So I am home today. Um, I did go into work, but it's called, they call it an admin day because my doctor, he also does dental surgeries in a hospital setting. Um, that way the anesthesiologists and all that can be there if anything goes wrong. So he does like full mouth reconstruction of patients that have dental fear, dental phobias, and want to be put to sleep and get everything done at once. I'm sure it's very painful afterwards. He did that this morning and then went in, did a few things, um, confirmation calls, and just things that you don't normally get a chance to do while patients are in and out and calling constantly. So yeah, I did that and now I'm at home and I am about to clean up the house. Laundry going and just, yeah, make sure everything is nice and neat. And yeah, I'm sitting in a different area of my house. My pillows are down there and normally when people come over or like when Bible study is here, I take them off the couch and then when they leave, I usually put it back on. Or if the kids are sitting here, they'll move them over here. So I'm, I actually was going to put them back on the couch. Then my leg gave out on me. And because we went hiking on Saturday, my legs are still really sore. I do have something good news to tell you guys about two of my children. So when I get the okay from them or when it's all clear, then I will update you guys. I mean, I could tell whatever, but I always want to have respect for them since they're older on what I share and what I don't share about them. Cause you know, everything is not meant for social media. All right, so I'm in my dining room now trying to straighten up things because, okay, let me know in the comments if your kids do this. So ever since we moved into this house, when the kids clean and purge their room of stuff they don't want anymore, okay, garbage goes out, right? But things that go to Goodwill, they will bring them out into my dining room and leave them here. And I'm like, no, my dining room is not an overflow for your stuff that you don't want. When they get packages in the mail, instead of them breaking it down, yeah, I'm busting them out. Instead of them breaking it down and putting it in the recycle, let me turn the TV down, hold on. Okay, I turned the TV down, I'm watching Brit Space on YouTube and I felt that I was competing with her when I'm talking to you guys. That's why I was talking so loud. Anyway, what was I saying? So ever since we moved in this house with my kids clean out their room, and even the packages they get like from Amazon or something like that, instead of them breaking down the box and putting it in the recycle or throwing stuff away, they'll leave it out here until I just get fed up because I actually leave it there to see how long it's gonna stay. They leave it there, they forget about it. They treat it like an overflow room. And even when my table was here, they would still tuck it along the sides or whatever and pretty much forget about it. And let me show you what Tariq, did because he cleaned his room last night. He went through all his clothes and all his clothes that he's not gonna wear anymore and he put it out in my dining room. Okay, so all of this right here, not the blanket, that's Cheyenne's blanket that she does not want anymore. So we are going to give that to Goodwill. And these are clothes that Tariq does not wear anymore. There's like literally, let me see. Two, three, four, five, six. There's like seven bags here of things and of course one of his old blankets in there and a fan and that actually you know what I'm gonna put this to the dump because that should not go to Goodwill because that's actually broken but anyway yeah they had all this piled up on the other side of my dining room and it was just sitting there and I'm like okay you need to take care of it so when he comes home today from work I'm going to make him pile all of this in his car and he's going to drop it off to the Goodwill. Not me, he's going to do it. Okay, so the house is clean. Done the dishes, laundry's going, I'm sweating. My legs are hurting so bad, you guys, because when you clean, of course, you bend down to pick up stuff and you, you know, you bend over and whatever. And my legs are still sore from Saturday. Um, so yeah, I am going to fix me something to eat. I am actually having a salad and I'm putting a little bit of bacon in it just for protein because I have chicken but it's frozen so I don't really want to try to get that out, cut it up and you know wait for it to thaw out or whatever. I can stick it in the microwave, I know. But anyway, I am just going to relax. The house is so clean right now and you know how when your house is clean and then your kids come home and destroy it? 
yeah everyone's gonna be home in about 30 minutes and that's it's not like when they were younger when you know your house would be clean and then there'd be toys all over the place they don't have toys anymore or whatever but still they come in and jackets and coats and shoes and backpacks well for Savannah and then you know, they'll come in the kitchen and they'll completely destroy it. It's like they see a clean kitchen and it's like, ooh, let me go in the cabinets, leave the cabinet open. Let me put my cups here and there. Let me not pick it up. So yeah, anyway, um, <laughs> just a little rant. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go. Okay, have you guys ever seen this before? So they're pine cones and it's cinnamon scented. And Winco sells this every year when it's around Halloween time, I guess for the holidays. And I always get maybe like two or three, not at the same time because, you know, the scent will start, it will start to lose its scent. But anyway, um, yeah, and they're pine coats and it just makes your house smell so good. So one year I got the idea where I was going to cut the bag open and put the pine cone in like this decorative bowl that way the house can smell in different areas and then like within a day and a half I didn't smell it anymore and then I realized they must however they make it they must put the cinnamon and all the scent on when the bag is on because the minute I threw the bag away the smell was gone Mm, and it just smells so good. It smells like cinnamon, but also to me, I don't know why it smells like peppermint. So have you guys ever seen this before? Do you get them? Do you like them? I love it. So this is the second bag I bought. And when this starts to not smell anymore, then I'll buy another one. And I think it's $3 or maybe even less than that. So yeah, it's making the house smell so good. Okay, so it's much later and you guys, so there was six seasons of Wentworth on Netflix, and I finished all six. And when I got to the last one, I didn't even know it was on the last one. And then when it went off, I was like, no, uh, they are in process of making the seventh season now. But as far as I know, after the seventh season, it's going to be the end of it. So, yeah. Now I don't know what to watch. I know I started watching The Office, so I guess I can go back to that, but Wentworth was so good, you guys, and now I'm just like, what now? You know how after you binge watch a certain show on Netflix, that's all you watch, and then when it's over, you're like, okay, what do I do next? That's how I'm feeling now. Hello, everyone. It is, I don't know what day it is, um, Wednesday. Men's Bible Study is here tonight. Um, Tariq is going to host it. I don't know why I told you guys that. In case some of you who are new to my channel did not know, we have Bible study at different church members' house because our church is not really all that big. We don't have our own building yet. So women's Bible study will be at different women's house. And of course, I host for that one. And then men's Bible study, um, it's on a rotation, of course, different church members' houses that chooses to have us there. So anyway, tonight... Bible study is here. I said all that to say this because I'm going to show you guys. I made them a cake. So it's just a plain yellow cake with chocolate frosting. So the cake pan that I use, instead of put separated in two, I just put it all into one. And I waited till the cake was cooled off and everything. So when I flipped it and I icing it this morning and it's still cracked. Let me show you guys. So the cake still cracked even though it was cooled off from last night because the center was raised so that's probably the reason why when I put it on the flat plate here it cracked so what I'm going to do is just fill it in with icing I know somebody's gonna get a lot of icing but I'm sure they won't mind see all fixed they will never know until they start cutting into it so I got my candle going and this kind is like some kind of pumpkin scented or pecan scented one it smells really good in here and Savannah's lighting her candle uh, <laughs> with a birthday candle. Oh, uh. Good afternoon. It is Friday after work and this air quality is horrible. There's a fire somewhere like in Paradise. I think the place is called Paradise. I don't know. But it was really windy yesterday and all of the smoke this way. So I will show you guys when I get out of my neighborhood. I'll try to show you guys how smoky it is. And Savannah is with me. I just picked her up from school, but we came home for a second and now we are about to run to the bank. 
Hi, Savannah. Hi, Savannah. Hey, welcome back to my channel. I'm just kidding, it's not my channel, it's my mom's channel. But my mom told me to vlog, so I'm vlogging. You know, it's my channel now. Taking over. Savannah, take over. Um, I don't really know what to say, but this water's not good. Okay. Um, I just got out of school, and it's a three-day weekend. I'm so excited. I don't know why, it's just Monday. And then, so, and then we have like four days of school, and then the Friday is like not really because um, we have multi a multicultural assembly and you don't really like go to class on that day and I'm performing in choir on that day. And um, if you had me at free, oh. So basically like like three days next week of school, basically. Oh, I know her. Um, and then that's break. And then we get a whole week off of school. So we're done. Good morning, everyone. It is Sunday. I'm ready for church. I'm ready pretty early, actually. Just waiting around, waiting for it to be time for us to head out the door. And I know I didn't show you um, like a view of the sky and how smoggy it was, but I was trying to hurry up and do what I had to do and get back in the house because my eyes were actually burning. For those of you who don't know, there was a there was a fire like in Paradise, California, and I guess this may be like two or three hours away from us, but we're in the Sacramento Valley. So it was windy and the wind blew all the smoke towards our area. You know how it gives you like the air quality and it's color coded? Well, Sacramento, we were in the red. So it was really bad and actually yesterday I did not leave the house. I didn't vlog at all because we really didn't do anything, you guys. We laid around and honestly, I caught up on a lot of my YouTube subscriptions. I watch movies on Netflix and Hulu. Hulu? <laughs> on Netflix and Hulu. Didn't do anything vlog worthy, so I didn't even pull out the camera. So anyway, Tyreek is sick because he was out yesterday working and he was in and out of his car and in the horrible weather not really weather just air quality Cheyenne went out for a little bit and she said her head started to hurt and her throat was hurting so yeah it, it's pretty bad yeah nothing much has been going on hopefully today Savannah and I will film a video for you guys that may be up before this one I don't know we'll see okay so about to leave for church at least the sun is out today yesterday there was no sun at all so I'm sure the air quality has to be a little bit better it's still kind of like not as hazy as it was yesterday but you can still tell like the remnants it's still in the air so just waited on Savannah to come in the car and then I'm going to pick up Evie and then we are going to church Listen to Christmas music, and Evie's here. Say hi, Evie. <laughs> Savannah. <laughs> Savannah and I are leaving Walmart. It's just us. We dropped Evie off already, and we're gonna go home and film a video. So we're home now, and me, Cheyenne, and Savannah, we just finished watching Boo Two, the Medea um, one. It's connected, Cheyenne. So anyway, we're just sitting here trying to find another movie to watch. And I think it's so unfair. Yeah, my girls are annoying. I think it's so unfair okay. <laughs> that Cheyenne and Savannah are off tomorrow. And I got to go to work. That's so not fair. Not fair. Time to be an adult. You need to be an adult too and go to work tomorrow. Nah, I can't open it, my dog. I want to watch I know. Can we speak this up a little bit? Just a little bit, thank you. Okay, so it's about 10.15. And I am going to go to bed. Tyreek and I are the only ones to have to work tomorrow because my office is open and he has to work tomorrow also. So the girls are off because tomorrow is, no, today is actually Veterans Day, but they're observing it tomorrow. I wish I could sleep in. Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday morning. It is 6.45. Yes, I'm up early on a Saturday. Today is our annual church trip to Apple Hill. Um, I feel myself getting sick. Cheyenne was supposed to go today, but she's not going because she feels herself getting sick. And 
I'm telling you guys, these fires here in, not in Sacramento, thank God, the whole town wiped out, burned down. It's so devastating and I wish I had funds to help those people because they lost everything. I mean, the whole town, it's gone. They were saying that, and I know I'm starting this <laughs> vlog out on a damper, but every time I think about them, my heart aches. The fire spread the length of 80 football fields, like that's how fast it kept spreading, or something to that effect. But there was a family of five that was driving, trying to get out because the fire just like overtook the town and it, you know, spread very rapidly. They were trying to get out and I guess maybe because of the smoke, they could not see their way out and this poor family got burned in their car trying to get out. I'm going to cry. Anyway, why did I say that? Because Cheyenne said she was getting sick and I feel like I'm getting sick. But not sick like where you get a cold or flu or something like that. If I'm outside too long then my eyes will start burning and my throat will burn and my nose will run and if you're wondering why we're going outside supposedly where apple hill is like placerville the foothills and all that the air quality is better so it will be nice to get out of sacramento at least for a day or get some fresh air the bay area is worse because i even thought about like going there this weekend but the bay area is worse yeah i can't believe i'm up this early but we have to meet at, we don't have to, I mean, I know the way there, I can go myself, but we all like to caravan together and, you know, go to the different farms together. So, anyway, with that said, this is supposed to be a happy vlog. <laughs> you won't sing for our friends? Oh, I don't know the Please song. Don't. <laughs> you know they didn't put it. God rest you. Here, go ahead, Savannah. Go ahead. Which one are you gonna do so I can take your picture? Savannah, oh my goodness, seriously? Yes, exactly. Um, just put your hand down. Can you look through it? Oh my gosh, my head. <laughs> Don't stick your head through it, silly. Hurry up, Savannah. So would you look? And this time I got Dutch sour cream apple pie and it's from the Boa Vista Orchard and their famous apple cider. And as you can see, we already started drinking it. This is so good, you guys. This is so difficult. So Savannah is coloring. Savannah? Wait, I need to look at the package. She's coloring. I gotta look at it. Savannah. <laughs> Why you don't want me to see it? She said an accident happened. That's why her eyebrows look like that. Let me see. Okay, so Savannah is coloring. I just can't believe it right now. She's really laying on the floor like a kid and coloring. And this is a mess 
but this is a puzzle that Cheyenne <laughs> bought and this is what it eventually will look like when she's done. Good morning everyone. It is Sunday and I am just getting ready for church. We had so much fun at Apple Hill yesterday. I know I didn't vlog a whole lot there, but we usually go every year and before I started attending my church, I would go with the kids um, and we would just go. Sorry guys, this battery died. So anyway, what was I saying? We would go every year just as a family, but then when I started attending my church, we found that everyone was going up there at different times. So we just decided to make it a family, not family, well a church family, a church outing. And we always do it in November. And if you were wondering what, Apple Hill is, it's in Placerville, which is about an hour, maybe less, away from Sacramento. And there's a lot of apple vineyards, is that what it's called? And different farms where you can go to, there's some farms that are more popular, that's the ones we go to. And then there's smaller farms that are, and you can pick apples, there's a hay rides, you can ride horses. So it's pretty much like, if you guys ever been to a craft fair, um, stuff like that vendors sell products. It's not only apple products, but of course their main thing is apple So apple fritters apple donuts apple turnovers apple cider of course apple pie, which I showed you guys um, before um, they have other Fruits there also like there was a blackberry pie that I wanted to get but Savannah was like no You're the only one gonna eat it and I don't know I Pretty sure Tariq and Cheyenne would have ate it also, but I don't know. I'm just trying to get something that we would all eat. That's why I got the Dutch apple pie. And this is not sponsored at all. I just wanted to show you guys this because I think it's so amazing. One of the vendors, I bought this. Um, it says Tahoe, love your skin. And this is the bottle. And what it is, is like this body scrub. It's really like liquidy on the top. I have to mix it up before I use it. This scent is eucalyptus and I, I just love the smell of eucalyptus. They have different scents that you can buy, but of course you were able to test it. So she asked us what scent we wanted, whatever, and she had the bucket. So you put it on dry hands and you rub it together because it's like a, you know, a body scrub, taking away all the dead skin cells and stuff like that. And it's something that I can't explain to you guys. You would have to experience it. I don't know why I'm telling you guys, but I just amazed that I found this product that even with the body scrub that I make, this is like 10 times better. So you put it on your dry hands and scrub it on. And then she poured like warm water on your hands. It's just a sensation it gives. If I can best describe it, like having your hands feel like a baby's bottom. <laughs> and I guess it was created by nurses and doctors, she said. And yeah, her whole little spill got to me, but it's because of how it made me feel. How it made my hands feel. I guess it was created by doctors and nurses who washed their hands all day long and would have cracked hands and wanted a product that you can use to help prevent that. Well I'm not a nurse or a doctor but I am a, in the dental field and I do wash my hands constantly all day long and my hands are like so super dry by the end of the day and I do have lotion that I put on constantly but you know sometimes it doesn't absorb enough and my skin still gets really dry. Fortunately it has not cracked yet but when I used this and went most of the day and was like, oh my goodness, I even washed my hands. I'm thinking, oh, it's going to wash off and I won't feel the same. No, my hands still felt soft. And yeah, I'm just loving it, you guys. And if you want to check out her product, she gave me this like little list. I'm not going to, you know, have you guys look at everyone, but just to give you like a little sample of the different scents, um, Citrus Bliss. Um, Deep Blue, On Guard, um, Purify, Serenity, Slim and Sassy, and just different things like that. But if you guys want to check it out, it's eocare.com. So you can see the products. And if you guys end up trying this, let me know. Yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys that made my hands feel really good. I use it on my hands. I use it on my feet a little while ago in the shower. My feet feel amazing. So anyway, gonna finish getting ready for church. All right, it's that time again, making homemade eggnog and putting up the tree. So we have put up the tree, just us girls, cause Tariq is working. And yeah, this is our Christmas decoration. And we are about to watch The Nightmare Before Christmas cause it's Halloween or Christmas. And then after that, we may watch something else.